up, what up, YouTube? So, the vlogs are back. I know the last vlog was like two months ago. Today, I am training a client, training um, Angeline. I'll put her YouTube link down below. And she went viral on BuzzFeed for taking a picture of her dad and then sending it to his crush and getting him a hot date. You can read the article there too, but she's just a viral girl. We're gonna train her. She's getting into personal training, so we're gonna create some content. She's gonna ask me some questions. I've just been grinding. I'm about to move out of this home gym, and so I don't think I've ever shown my own actual private gym. So, we got some kettlebells over there, a little bike, bunch of bumper plates, bumper plates, bumper plates, random stuff in there, BOSU, mats, ab wheel, ankle weights, random stuff in the back, dumbbell rack, we got a squat rack and a bench, we got some ropes and some TRX that I literally have never used for the two years I've been here. <laughs> I think I've used the rope a few times, um, we got mats, but I'm about to move out of this area and so private training is going to take a different look um, this is my normal routine i come out here and i sweep if you want to be a private gym owner please equipment in your garage that was a big mistake on my part because putting it in your backyard you have to sweep like every single day i sweep pretty much every single day and then i do a full cleaning once a week just because it gets super dusty wind blows grass and dog poop and whatever else onto these mats and so I got a sweep um, waiting for Angeline she's coming in like 10 minutes so check in with you guys later So really quick before Angeline comes, which is my first client for the day, I think I have, I have two today. Um, just quick update, why I haven't been uploading as many vlogs as often on this channel is this is what I got going on. So I've been trying to maintain this YouTube channel as best as I can. I've been trying to write articles. Um, my IG is going up, so if you want to follow me there, follow me there. Um, school just started again. I have a full line of classes. This is my last semester, and one of those classes I'm making an independent film on young entrepreneurs rising up, their backstory, their passions, the obstacles, goals, history, you know, whatever else about young entrepreneurs. I'm making a film about that, so that's gonna be done in five months. And I've been doing this private business, I've been working on my online training business a lot. And on top of that, I'm moving. And so, because I'm moving, I got another job as well, because I'm gonna lose most of my clients here. They already live far as it is. Um, and I'm gonna move to Irvine, California, most likely, and so I'm gonna need some more income to sustain all my businesses, and so I got a job as a personal trainer at my college, and so those are all the things I got going on off the top of my head. Um, I apologize for not posting as much, but I'm getting back in the vlog game. I got some new cameras. Um, I fixed my old one, and so things are gonna be good. Angeline's coming in like five minutes now, so I will see you then. Try this for a couple of reps. Okay. Yeah. Because I see like Carlton. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do that like sometimes. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I would just walk up and be like, like really yeah. racing. Generally, bar is going to be over midfoot. Instead of starting here, start here. You see how my hips are a little bit further back? What was the original one? Like all the way up here. Oh, okay, come back down. Come back oh, okay, down a okay. little bit. Oh, I agree with that, actually. Ever, you don't want to shrug. And so you're good at pulling them back. You also got to pull them down. Remember, put them in your pocket. Oh. There you go, yeah. You never oh, want to shrug up. Okay, yeah. I look this one. Much more struggles. Whereas, if you pull on the slot first, get tight. Yeah. The reason I didn't major in kines was, it's a long conversation I have with everyone that asks me this. They're like, oh, really? what? You're not a kines major? Like, like there have been people I've known for oh. like years, and they just, they're like, they're like, congratulations, this is your last semester, you're gonna be a kines degree and all this. I'm like, I haven't majored in kines this whole time and everything. Because they just assume that. Mm -hmm. But like, it's just because I got so much experience and certifications and like, uh, working with other coaches outside right. of school. 
um, I didn't feel the need for it. Like, I'd rather learn something else. Like, if I, I didn't have anything else that. to learn, mm -hmm. I would I would have been Kines still. I really but like that. I'm like, oh, I like film. Let's do film. I'm good with the camera. Do some YouTube. And like, I hate like I hate film classes. Oh really? Yeah, I hate classes in general. But oh, okay. <laughs> but like film classes, they're all like four and a half hours long. I hate all my professors. Not all of them, but some of them hate me. <laughs> and like, cause I'm so different from everybody. Like everyone in film at my school. They like they're really into movies. They want to be like a director and editor and stuff like that. And then they're like, "What do you want to do?" I'm like, um, "Well, I'm kind of a trainer. That's my first passion." They're like, "What? Why are you a film major then?" Oh, that's true. And then I'm like, "Well, I still want to do like independent film and stuff." And they're like, "Why do you want to do that? That's so lame." It's like, <laughs> no, actually, I, I I'm really different from everyone. Yeah, but like I see where they're coming from because like to major in film is already so risky, you know, like, yeah. you have to love and die and bleed for that, you know, like, uh -huh. all the people who do, like, they're, like, set on it, like, that's yeah. their art, and then, like, you're just in here, like, oh, it's, like, a side gig, the, like, you know what I the mean? The sad thing is, my film skills, like, I don't want to brag, but are probably like better. better than yeah. most of them, and I'm the only one, pretty much, in, like, my whole, like, like, classes and all that, that create content and do it on their own, to get a portfolio, mm -hmm. like, none of them oh, have a portfolio, do they do, but... Some of them do, but most of them are just like, most of them are like, they're, they're not willing to grind. Like they want the arts and they want right. to like, they want to have the name and they want to be like director one day and everything. Okay, that's like everybody, but like but entrepreneurship too. Entrepreneurship is a big one. I have so that's many, huge. so many friends that are entrepreneurs. So many friends that are entrepreneurs. <laughs> and they don't grind at all. Dude, <laughs> I could, I have so many stories of, I could think of so many people, but yeah, they just, they're like. They have it on their Instagram. Mm -hmm. they, oh really? Yeah, they want it. They want the name. They think it's cool. They take pictures of them standing next to cars they don't own. Oh, of course. Like yeah. they have the whole thing, and their daily, like their day to day, is sleeping. It's no, like the fact that you're journey. an online coach is really cool. Yeah. Like how you started I'm, actually? Um, I'm still growing it. Honestly, I've been doing it for over. Let's see. Okay, well, I started my started learning for my online certification. Um, in September of 2016, I believe, and I got certified um, for online coaching. Yeah, for online coaching before 2017. I think it was like December 29th that mm -hmm. I got certified. And you don't have to be certified; it just helps. Okay. Yeah, if that was one of your questions, but yeah. Okay. Um, and then right now, I'm still growing the online business. It's really, it's really hard. Online is definitely harder to grow. Well, they're both hard to grow, but on, I think online is a little bit harder to grow than in person. Let's get into this right now, I guess, because okay. I think this will help you. But basically, once you get certified as a trainer, if you're interested in it... Oh, are you going to tell me how to do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, any questions, just let me know. And it's not this clear cut, right. but super general, we're going to mm -hmm. like condense it down. But generally speaking, you work at the gym, you get experience, you work at other gyms, you move up and whatever. Um, and you generally work a split shift at, at first, which is you work probably from like 5 a.m. to noon. Mm -hmm. And then you have um, a break between noon and like four, and then you work from like five to like nine. Oh, really? Yeah, because no one, everyone's at work in the middle of the day. You have no one to train, generally speaking. Most people are at work, it's really hard, and it's hard to market as it is, as a oh, trainer. Oh, so you have to just be there, like. Kinda, you can go your home. Your availability has to be like pretty. Yeah, but pretty much what happens is like, the gym takes most of your money, you get super burnt out because you're working a split shift for a really long time right. for not that much. Like, training isn't like, if you want to make money, don't don't be a personal trainer. I mean, you can't, there's definitely money in it, but generally speaking, it's way, you're going to make way less averagely compared to many, many other jobs. And so most people are like, dude, I love fitness and I want to make money. I'm like, be a trainer because you love fitness. Don't be a trainer because you love fitness and want to make money. No, yeah. Okay. You can definitely scale. Nothing wrong with want to make money. Mm -hmm. But what also happens is uh, also personal training has a high quit rate. So many people quit within the first six months. Many people. Yeah. Because of the hours? Because of hours, because of getting burnt out, because they realize it's not what they thought it was. Because um, what people think it is, is like, oh, I get to hang out at the gym and make money. Okay. But in reality, it's... Marketing, 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 right. marketing. It's at first you're gonna do way more marketing than actual training, and you're not gonna make that much because it's just it's just how the industry works. And you start working at a 24-hour fitness um, for training hours, you're gonna get 15 to 25, and for non-training hours, like when you're marketing, 
Oh, just, okay, when you're sitting at your desk. Yeah, when you're doing stuff like that, you're gonna get minimum wage, so about 10. This is based on a 60 hour work week, not a 40 hour. Yeah, trainers, cause, because outside of the gym, you're checking in with clients, you are writing programs, you're writing nutrition programs, you have to get, um, and then even with the 33,000, there's so many expenses, like you have to, um, PC Pro certified. Yeah, certified, uh, recertifications, insurance if you're privately trained like here. It's, are you insured? Yeah. Okay. And um, online software, like marketing, like paid marketing is out there and people use it, it's gonna cost you more money. And so you lose a lot of that money um, and it's based off of a 60 hour work week and you have no benefits. <laughs> so once you put it like that and if you still wanna be a trainer after that, I would say go for it. But a lot of people don't realize the the work they're doing. Like they think it's like working out. Yeah, it's and just like, like okay, uh, we're training doing five push ups. Yeah. Like. But it's definitely it's definitely not like that. Oh, but I was saying like after you become a trainer, you um, either stay at the gym and you work your way up, up to the point where you have a really favorable schedule and you have a lot of clients and you can either stay there or you go um, private, which I decided to do really early. Okay, yeah, I was just gonna ask how you got into private personal training. Basically, I, I quit my 24 job and then just went just went private and started this. Like you just took a risk and... Kind of. Or did you have like friends hitting you up already? Um, it was definitely calculated, but still a risk. Okay. Like, most trainers who want to do that, the earliest they would do it is after six months. I left after like two and a half months. Really? Yeah. It was like that burnt out? No, it wasn't. Burnt I wasn't that burnt out. Um, there's a few things I didn't like, and it's just the right decision at the time. Like, like, uh, like box gyms, they're gonna focus more on money, obviously. Okay. The question that most people ask first, also, is, is do I have to get certified? Okay. So, it kind of depends. If you if you want to be private right off the bat, um, you technically don't have to be certified. Although it'll be extremely hard to be private right off the bat, and it'll be extremely hard um, to be private without a certification. Oh, also, you can't buy insurance without a certification. Okay. So um, yeah, that's a big issue too, especially if you're going private and you have a lot of clients. You want um, insurance. Generally, the answer is you should 99% of the time should get um, certified. And so, to get certified, now now we go into two different paths: is should I get certified or should I get a degree? Which is kind of what I was thinking for you too. Is and don't ever make these big decisions off of this right, one right, conversation. Right. But um, if fitness is something you want to do like for a really long time and if you want it to be your main thing, I would probably um, get a degree, like make that your major, or your minor, but probably your major, um, but that's obviously that's up to you. Okay, Wait, what what degree of fitness are we talking about, like like personal training degree? Uh, no, like either a degree in kines, exercise oh, okay. science, no. <laughs> um, uh, sports medicine, right. uh, st strength and conditioning, uh, movement specialist, any of those degrees will help you. Generally kines is like the most general one. Like, if I lived in another world and I wasn't Calvin, this weirdo who likes film, I would probably be a kinesi or strength and conditioning degree. That's what I would probably pursue. Right, and I heard you get paid more if you like have um, a degree. A little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. Yeah, but I don't think I like I could live full time off that degree. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, and so that's yeah. It's kind of it's a risky degree exactly. at the same time, and so um, yeah. Also, you you can get paid more if you have more than one certification, depending on the gym. So okay. that's all depending on the gym. And so let's say you get certified. So let's say you choose. So that's the degree aspect. So I, I left you with that. Okay. 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 So certifications. Um, now I used to have I used to have a different opinion on this. I've changed slightly. My old opinion still has a lot of truth though. But basically, my old opinion was certifications don't really matter. Get whichever one because at the end of the day, the best certifications isn't gonna teach you pretty much anything. Like all I know, like everything I showed you and stuff, most of it didn't come from certification at all. Like really? my total knowledge I tell people is like half a percent came from my certification. Everything else is from experience, from studying every single day, from working with other coaches. Cause your certification, it's like the industry is really sad because you just get certified, you take a test and you right. can call yourself yeah. a trainer. You know, I mean, it's a good and a bad thing. 
but learning wise you're not going to get pretty much mu that much out of a certification and credential wise it's not going to make a huge difference and so like let's say you wanted to work, start at 24 which is not a bad place to start okay um there's a lot like look start looking at gyms you want to start at if you want to become a trainer um and see which certifications they take and then you can just pick one of those um and most of the time if you have a certification that they don't take um and you have a lot of experience they'll still hire you like if you're good enough for the job they'll hire you regardless of your certification um now that was my old opinion now my opinion is still the same except i think um some certifications are better for credential wise as far as learning they're better a little bit but generally you're le you're not going to learn much in general okay you might you at first you might feel like you're learning a lot right but as you study more and you like actually study mm -hmm. and that's the thing about certifications they all teach different things right so it's like you're le you're literally learning conflicting information to pass the test which is what i had to do like i had to memorize like breakfast is the most important meal so i can answer that question correctly uh -huh. even though breakfast isn't right. the most important meal like just stuff like that and it depends other certifications might be like breakfast isn't and they're doing it right and you know it's just it's a wishy-washy oh, yeah. thing yeah you shouldn't depend on it for your actual education but for credential wise some of them are better and for a new trainer i would recommend getting the better ones they're usually more expensive what is up youtube just got done training i got a haircut if you couldn't tell uh, we filmed some footage already I did some business work on the computer, messaged some online clients, and I'm putting some camera stuff away right now, going in my room. It's very dark, but I gotta get back to the grind. I haven't eaten. This is what I call unintentional intermittent fasting, where you're not intermittent fasting, but you had so much to do this morning that <laughs> you end up intermittent fasting anyways. And so it's my first meal. It's like two o'clock. So these vlogs will be more consistent and I will catch you later in the next one. Please subscribe. Peace.